Good evening, everybody. We're going to take their seats. Uh, we're going to have a meeting of the Committee of the Whole. At this time, uh, we're going to take some time to honor Peabody's youth. Um, tonight for us is Peabody Channel Youth Football. And uh, before I turn it over to the mayor, um, I'm just going to say a couple of brief words. Um, I was uh, honored to be a part of the uh, original board of directors and the youth that you're seeing here today are fifth and sixth graders from across the city of Peabody. Um, and these uh, young men, many of them I've had the opportunity to coach and watch develop since the very first grade. Uh, they've had quite a tremendous uh, achievement here. They've been, many of them have been here before us uh, as first and second graders. Um, they went 9-0. As third and fourth graders, they went 10 and 0, and this year they went 10 and 1. And not only did they represent the city of Peabody in the Northeast Conference Youth Football Championship, which was probably approximately eight to 10 communities on the North Shore, they then went on to represent uh, the entire North Shore at the uh, Eastern Mass American Youth Football Champions. So they basically beat out about 20 teams from across uh, Eastern Massachusetts. And just, uh, I always like to say this, uh, but they started on August 1st, and they ended their season on November 28th. So that's commitment, that's dedication. You know, you start in the summertime with tank tops on, and you end up in pretty much close to the winter with uh, as much warm gear as you can put on, and also usually a couple of rain dates in between. But uh, I also uh, want to uh, personally uh, thank Coach head coach Todd Breen and his staff and one of the things that um, I personally watched and I appreciate in coach Breen is that what he does do and many of you here have had children in youth sports and still do today uh, coach Breen makes sure that every child plays and not just like minimum plays he makes sure they play and that's why you see a group of happy young men who will show up to practice um, and can't wait for Sunday to play and do their best. And as I said, I, I do want to thank you for that, Coach Breen, because I know uh, in the crazy world of youth sports, this attitude about win at all costs, you don't buy into that. You buy into team, and you buy into everyone contributing. And I want to personally thank you, and I believe many of your parents uh, feel the same way here today. So I want to say thank you. Uh, before um, I ask the mayor to present the certificates and say a few words, Coach Breen, I believe you'd like to come up and say something and present the mayor with something. Uh, thanks for having us. Uh, one story about these boys. Uh, we lost the second game of the year to Salem, 19-13. Uh, to 13. Uh, That team, Salem, went undefeated the rest of the way, destroyed everybody. We played them in the Super Bowl. They beat them 33-6. to 6. That's how they responded, you know. But the boys would like to uh, present the mayor, have him an honorary member of the team. Thank you. I, I really appreciate this gift. And I love hearing about beating Salem. There's nothing that makes me more happy as mayor of Peabody when we beat Salem. So um, these, are the, these are real fun moments for us uh, as elected officials. I, I can look through every single member of the city council, and they've been involved in sports in some way in the city, uh, through their kids, through playing themselves, just being involved, sponsoring, coaching in some way. And uh, I know the opportunities to congratulate and recognize outstanding achievement is real important to all of us. We've made a real concerted effort over the last few years to really invest in our city, in our schools, in our parks, because we want our children to enjoy living and growing up here in the city of Peabody. I often talk about pride, and I know many others do as well, but really one of my goals and hopes is that those that are living here in the city 
those that are growing up here really feel pride about being a resident of the city and wearing the Peabody across your chest. And I know that that's all of, on all of our mind. And we've made a number of investments, of course, the biggest one being the New Higgins Middle School that's coming on board, or that is on board. But we have the fields that are going to be coming on board here this coming year that are going to be outstanding. A football field, soccer, lacrosse, field hockey, baseball, softball. Uh, everybody will be able to enjoy that field. Uh, but we've also put in a new skating rink. Uh, two actually outdoor skating rinks, even though it hasn't worked out very well so far this winter. Um, but also just making some investments in our play areas. And that's important to us because we want all of you to enjoy our city, uh, both as families, as children. And um, it's wonderful to have these opportunities in which we can recognize great work because all of us being involved in sports know it takes a great amount of sacrifice from the coaching staff uh, to the parents and to all the players. Uh, there's late nights. There's times you're tired, you've got to come back and do homework, and uh, those make for some very long nights, but it's all worth it because of the friendships you make, the bonds that you're created, and it's wonderful to be able to win. Uh, and I've heard nothing but positives about this team, not only the play on the field, but the way you conducted yourselves. Uh, they were, all of you were friends, all of you exhibited sportsmanship, and that's as important as anything. And it brings a great deal of pride to the city when we see you succeed. Um, many, many athletes we've had outstanding athletes in this city Olympic champions people that have gone on to play professional people that have gone on to play major college ball and uh, we're real proud of that and it's wonderful to be able to see all of you coming along and really wearing the uniform wearing the PBD uniform with pride and uh, again I want to congratulate all of you for the great work and congratulate all the parents brothers sisters everybody who plays a role because everybody does play a role in making you champions we do have uh, some certificates that I wanted to provide. This is on behalf of the City of Peabody and the Peabody City Council. I have a certificate for each of you, a certificate of community recognition. On behalf of the City of Peabody, I am happy and honored to recognize you as a member of the 2016 Peabody Tanners Youth Football Super Bowl Championship team. Your outstanding achievement in winning the NECYFL and Eastern Mass AYFL Spartan Division Super Bowl brings great pride to our community. We commend you for your good sportsmanship and team play, and that's dedicated to all of you today. And I have individual ones. Should I read the names? And why don't we do that? Have you each come up and receive the certificate? Uh, let's start off with number four, Chase Doyle. Chase Doyle. Doyle. Dooley, right? Chase Dooley. Number five, Jacob Ben. Number eleven, Carson Brown. No, that's your neighbor? Oh, yeah. Dexter Road, Dexter Road. Street. <laughs> Number 20, Brody Callahan. Just check. Number 22, Colin Ridley. Colin. Number 33, Devin Walsh. Number 36, Paul Drylon. I say that? Number 40, Anthony Maroli. Number 41, Matthew Lindstrom. Number 44, Braden Carr. Number 45, Carlos Franco. Number 48, Alex Silva. Number 51, Jaden Caruso. Number 52, Mark Clanton. Number 55, Thomas Swanton. Number 
Number 59, Julian Caruso. Number 60, Stephen Mastrangelo. Number 66, Michael Mastracola. Number 68, Nicholas Gregory. Number 70, Matthew Cormier. Number 71, Christopher Collins. Number 72, Tynan Tilly. Tynan's on here. Number 75, Edward Duran. Any of those others here? Number 76, William Pinto. Number 80, Aiden Breen. We get everybody? We're good. So again, I, I just want to congratulate all of you on a, on a hard-fought season. It's great to, great to have a championship, uh, but more importantly, I hope you learn a tremendous amount of lessons, and I hope you really appreciate all the time and effort that your coaches and your families put in uh, to making this po a very positive experience for all of you. So congratulations, Peabody Super Bowl champs. Great job. And, and we're going to just take a, before we take a brief two-minute recess for picks, I just did want to acknowledge our coaches, Breen's assistant coaches. That would be John Carr, Glenn Dooley, Richard Swanton, Keith Brown, and Nick Gregory, the assistant coaches of the Super Bowl champions. We'll take a brief five-minute recess for photos.